Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Spring System-Wide Virtual Commencement Ceremony of Washington State University. The processional will now begin. Entering the Coliseum and leading the processional is Faculty Senate Chair Dave Turnbull, bearing the University Mace, a traditional symbol of authority. His honor guard includes Curtis Cohen, the Associated Students of Washington State University President and Jennifer Johnson, President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association. System-wide, we will recognize students from the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences with 254 undergraduates, which includes 42 from the School of the Environment, a joint program between the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences and the College of Arts and Sciences with 18 masters and eight doctoral graduates. The College of Arts and Sciences with 633 undergraduates, 16 masters and seven doctoral graduates. The Carson College of Business with 373 undergraduates, 38 professional degree candidates and three doctoral graduates. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication with 169 undergraduates, eight masters, and two doctoral graduates. The College of Education with 176 undergraduates, 33 masters, and six doctoral graduates. The Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture with 291 undergraduates, 25 masters, and two doctoral graduates. The Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine with nine undergraduates, 14 masters, and 11 professional degree candidates. In the first graduating class of medical doctors. The College of Nursing with 52 undergraduates, two masters, and 22 doctoral graduates. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences with 24 professional degree candidates and one doctoral graduate. And the College of Veterinary Medicine with 59 undergraduates, one master's and three doctoral graduates. All will be Cougar alums. Now entering the President's Platform Party made up of Washington State University College Deans, a Regent, the Provost and the President. Gina Vasquez, ASWSU President, Global Campus. Andre Dani Wright, Dean, College of Agricultural, Human and Natural Resource Sciences. Todd Butler, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Chip Hunter, Dean, Carson, College of Business. Bruce Pinkleton, Dean, the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication. 
Michael Trevison, Dean, College of Education. Lisa Gloss, Dean, Graduate School. Mary Rizak, Dean, Boylan College of Engineering and Architecture. M. Grant Norton, Dean, Honors College. Mary Coithan, Dean, College of Nursing. Mark Lead, Dean, College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. William Davis, Associate Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Brett Blankenship, WSU Regent Chair. Elizabeth Shelton, Provost and Executive Vice President. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. The National Anthem will be performed by Julie Ann Wick, Associate Professor, School of Music. Please be seated. The Washington State University alma mater, Washington My Washington, will be performed by WSU choral students Kayla Ray, Bryce Weber, and seniors Christina Gomnitz and Jared Peterson. The virtual performance was created by Bryce Weber. Washington My Washington my songs of memory that we sing today. When the sad hours come to you and sorrows round you play, just sing the songs of Washington, the crimson and the gray. Just sing the songs of WSU family and friends, please welcome Dr. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. Good morning, Coug Nation. Welcome and congratulations to our new graduates, the class of 2021. Can I get a big, hearty Go Cougs? I say these words from the bottom of my heart. For you have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history to reach this milestone moment in your life. Graduates, as we gather today for this celebration, 
I'm inspired by your undertakings and ambitions. You have accomplished much in nearly every academic field imaginable. You have big dreams for the future. We enthusiastically welcome you to the ranks of WSU alumni, and we send you into the world that greatly needs your minds and your hearts. Current events remind us there is so much happening in the world that needs fixing. Disease, extreme poverty, religious strife, sexual discrimination, unimaginable violence. The list is long. But I'm here today to tell you that there are many reasons for hope. The cougar spirit that defines this great university and binds us together is one of the main reasons I feel hopeful about the future. That spirit, reflected by a never say die and a willingness to work hard to succeed no matter the obstacles, bodes well for our own life success and for the betterment of our society. It's a spirit that you, the class of 2021, have demonstrated day in and day out on your path to this moment. It's a spirit I've observed every day for the past five years I've served as WSU's president. It's a spirit of hopefulness reflected in the good work being done by our faculty, students, and staff, by our alumni, and by our friends. The examples of compassion, dedication, selflessness, patience, and kindness I witness every day inspire me and humble me. Without a doubt, the world needs your cougar spirit more than ever. And your willingness to confidently step up and tackle our shared challenges fills me with hope. Hope for today and hope for our future. In my role, I've met many of you and you're absolutely incredible and amazing. Noel and I have had many of you to our house for dinner and receptions. We've taught you in classes. We've cheered for you on stages and in athletic competitions. Interacting with you is one of the great joys of serving as a university president. Am I an optimist about our future? Yes, there's no doubt about it. But I see the world that way because I know how hard this community and all of you, our 2021 graduates, work to succeed every day. The potential is unlimited. As we celebrate today, let us look to each other for continued inspiration in the years ahead. May WSU and the Cougar family continue to be your fountain of hope as we face the future united in spirit. Congratulations, graduates, and let me get a go Cougs, no matter where you are. The WSU Board of Regents is the university's governing body, and it gives me great pleasure to ask the Regent Chair, Brett Blankenship, to the podium. Thank you, President Schultz. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. It is indeed a great day to be a Coug. What an honor to be with all of you today to celebrate your success at Washington State University. A little bit about me. Many of you, um, one, of, one of the best kept secrets about me is I, I was trained as a pianist. So when I was graduating like you, I was a music major. When you're a pianist, you always, wind up, you always wind up studying Beethoven before you get a degree. And one of the greatest Beethoven artists in history was a fellow named Arthur Schnabel. The question was posed to him one day, how do you play all those notes? And how do you remember all those notes? And he whimsically replied, he said, uh, almost Almost any pianist can play the notes, but it's the space between the notes. That's where the art resides. So the art is not always the obvious part that other people see, but it's the unseen things. So as you choose your path forward in your field of study, you will often be faced with two choices, the expedient thing and the thing that brings you meaning. My hope for you is to choose the path of meaning. Find meaning, and you will find the art that Mr. Schnabel referred to. And as you personally define what brings you meaning, other choices will come your way, being comfortable or growth. Choose growth. 
Every person on this platform with me today has made those choices. Many had other positions, and they were just fine where they were. They were successful on, before they came here, and they were brilliant at what they did. But a person who always seeks the best has a certain restlessness, and that is growth. So if you ever find yourself getting bored and your job becoming routine, you've stopped growing. Find a way to continue to grow. And sometimes it's as simple as comparing yourself to who you were yesterday rather than comparing yourself who someone else is today. Continue to learn. Continue to find meaning. Continue to seek growth. Do those things, and you won't need to find success. Success will find you. Life then becomes art. And when success finds you, indeed, that is where the art resides. So on behalf of all the regents, past and present, it's my honor to wish you the very best today. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing WSU. Go Coops. Please join me in recognizing our regents and the important role they play in guiding our university. Now I turn the program over to Elizabeth Chilton, Provost and Executive Vice President of Washington State University. Provost Chilton. Well, hello, graduates. It's an honor to join you for this historic celebration of your accomplishments at WSU and to welcome you as alumni of this great university. This is a particularly special spring commencement for me since this is my first as the chief academic officer for the WSU system. We plan on celebrating with you again when we can have in-person ceremonies and all are invited to return to attend in person. We look forward to the regalia, the tassels, the graduation march, and the celebrations with family and friends. I imagine that your final semesters at WSU will be remembered as an extremely challenging and stressful time. And I'm sure that you, will, you, that you never imagined that your final months at WSU would include many hours of Zoom sessions, wearing face masks, and attesting that you're not sick or even self-quarantining. We will remember the resilience and the dedication shown by Coogs time and time again. I have come to know and appreciate our tight-knit and supportive Coog community even in the face of challenges unlike anything any of us have experienced before. I know that you've received a world-class education here at WSU and your time here has prepared you for your future careers and for your lives. We all know that life is not a straight line and I am confident that you are well prepared to face all the many twists and turns ahead of you. As you graduate from WSU, please remain your Coog spirit. Even if you're not on campus or in classes every day, be proud to wear crimson and gray. Come back to campus, visit your professors, and cheer on your fellow Cougs. A major part of the university experience is to expand the network of people who are invested in your success. Take heart in knowing that as a WSU alumnus, you are a valued member of an incredible network of people. I hope you'll find that Coogs, helping Coogs doesn't just apply during your time as a student, but throughout your life. Finally, as one of the newest members of the WSU community, I am proud to say to all of you, go Coogs. To welcome the Vancouver class of 2021, I am pleased to introduce Jennifer Johnson, President, Graduate and Professional Student Association, Armando Antonino, President, Associated Students of Washington State University, Vancouver, and Narek Danielian, representing the Washington State University Alumni Association. Jen? Good morning, WC graduates. As President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association here at Washington State, 
I want to say that on behalf of the GPSA, congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone. It is a remarkable accomplishment, especially for you all who have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history. No one thought our final semesters at WSU would include sitting in countless Zoom sessions, wearing face masks everywhere, or self-quarantining. But in continuing to tackle these challenges, we have demonstrated how strong and adaptable we are. I am honored and proud to be, such a, be a part of such a resilient student body. It is a pleasure to speak to all the graduate and professional students receiving their degrees today. You are a part of a special group that has chosen to spend the past 20 plus years in education so that you may help solve the problems of the future. It may not feel like it, but you're all experts in your respective fields. I'm sure your first thought of that notion, like me, is one of terror, but this process was designed to challenge how you plan, how you think, how you work. You have met those challenges and you have endured. You have come out on the other side, able to tackle the most difficult problems this world has to offer. While this is likely the end of school for most of you, do not let this be the end of your education. Moving forward, you'll go on to guide cutting edge research, you'll advance life-saving technology, you will fight for social justice causes, and you'll positively contribute to the global community. With your newly developed skills and leadership, I implore you to use them for good. Help lift up those around you who have not been fortunate enough to have had the same opportunities. To the undergrads, thank you for your spirit, your enthusiasm, and your commitment to learn alongside us. To the graduate and professional students, your work and efforts have been impactful. You have paved the way for the next group to continue to make meaningful contributions. My hope for every one of you is that the challenges and triumphs you face during your graduate experience continue to shape and influence you wherever life takes you next. Commencement represents the completion of one chapter and the beginning of a new one just as promising as the last. Enjoy this moment. Once again, congratulations on your academic achievement. GPSA wishes you the best of luck moving forward. Go Cougs. Hello, my name is Armando Antonino, and I've had the incredible honor to serve as this year ASWCV Student Body President. I'm an integrated strategic communication major with a minor in digital technology and culture. But this moment is not about me. This moment is about celebrating you, our 2021 Vancouver grad on this special day. You have proven your incredible abilities over the course of your college career, and that's commendable. All your research, studying, reading, and engagement has paid off. You are unstoppable and will continue to succeed long after you receive that diploma. You are no longer getting ready, but you are ready for what the world has to offer you. You know, life is a journey, and that requires us to continuously grow and adapt. The way you all have adapted this year is just one example of how you've been able to do that. We are so proud to share this exciting moment with you. Remember, as you move forward, bring with you the knowledge, experience, lessons, and friendships from WSU Vancouver. I'm excited to witness how you shape and create our new reality. Class of 2021, the world has changed, and you will determine how we make and move forward and make those decisions in a meaningful and um, equitable way. I ask that you make a community your priority. In closing, I'd like to draw on the lessons that we have all learned during this unforgettable year as we've, done, as we've done, moved forward through the challenges of COVID-19 and so many other obstacles. In the real world, there will always be challenges, though hopefully not to the extent of a pandemic. These challenges are inevitable. They will test your patience, commitment, and integrity. However, the virtues of perseverance, resistance will help you overcome these challenges. You have used these virtues in your academic journey, and you will continue to use them again and again. I urge you to cling on to these virtues when you're being tested, just as you did during this exact year. Lastly, wear the badge of the Vancouver on your sleeve. Let the world know you are ready for whatever it has to offer. Congratulations and go Cougs. Fellow Cougs, hello. My name is Narek Danielian, and today I'm representing the WSU Alumni Association. I'm a proud Vancouver, just like you. I graduated from WSU Vancouver in 2012 with a bachelor's degree in human development. My time at WSU Vancouver not only prepared me to enter the workforce, it also sparked my interest in continuing my education. As a result, I came back and earned a master's degree in public affairs while also working to progress in my career. While in grad school, I was fortunate to serve as the first student regent from WSU Vancouver. That experience, along with countless others, will stick with me for the rest of my life. On behalf of WSU Vancouver and all Cougs throughout the world, I welcome you into our alumni ranks. Being part of the Cougar Nation means a great deal. It means shouting, go Cougs, anywhere in the world, and resting assured that if another Coug hears you, they'll shout it back. 
It means being part of a network that supports each other, that supports the community, that contributes to the betterment of future generations. Being part of the Cougar Nation is as much a responsibility as it is a privilege. I encourage you to stay in touch. Keep us informed about the changes and achievements in your life. Know that you are always welcome on our campuses, whether for a visit, a committee meeting, Cougs in the community, or to continue your learning process. Today, you join your classmates in becoming one of the more than 18,000 WSU Vancouver alumni and the nearly 275,000 Cougar alumni worldwide. I offer each of you my hearty congratulations on your accomplishments and my sincere best wish wishes for your future endeavors. Go Cougs! Thank you, Jennifer, Armando, and Narek. I doubt this is how many of us saw your graduation day playing out when you started at WSU Vancouver. It's not how I ever imagined I'd be delivering your commencement remarks. At the beginning of spring semester last year, I was in conversations with student groups about where to site a new cougar statue and finding a suitable gaming space on campus. By spring break, the conversation changed to how we could pivot to distance learning in a week's time, and whether our students could meet their basic needs. A place to stay, food to eat, or technology to continue their studies. This past year has had a dramatic impact on us all, but it has exacerbated the inequities that were already present in our country and on our campuses. The pandemic has had a disproportionate impact on our communities of color, and on our women, students, faculty, and staff. In the midst of the pandemic, the realities of systemic racism, conspiracies, and insurrection in our nation's capital, and close to home, fall wildfires, and a Valentine's Day snow and ice storm that left many without power or internet access for days also drew our attention. What can I say? It's been a year. Still, the drive and commitment I saw in you to move forward in the most difficult of times and your support for one another has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. Some of you attended courses online and studied in crowded spaces. You battled for the use of Wi-Fi. You helped your siblings or your own children succeed in an online learning environment. We all missed out on in-person events and the camaraderie of peers. Nonetheless, I have seen more people caring for other members of the community than at any other point in my career. I saw our student leadership reorganize to serve students in new ways. I saw creativity in how we teach our students. And we learned how to hold events and even celebrate virtually. Many things have changed, but one thing has remained consistent. We have graduated the most extraordinary students. Our graduates make our community stronger. They are leaders in work, in education, and in community service. As you graduate today, use your education to make our region stronger, healthier, wiser, and more just. You've done this over the last year, and I know you will continue to do so. I wish you great success and look forward to seeing the great work that you do. Thank you for choosing WSU Vancouver. Go Vancouver and go Cougs. Today we celebrate with a total of 2,263 students participating in the system-wide virtual commencement. There are 30 students from Everett, three from Olympia, 211 global, 1,554 from Pullman, 103 Spokane, 115 Tri-Cities, and 247 from Vancouver, representing 154 different degree fields. The candidates for advanced degrees will be presented by Lisa Gloss, Dean of the Graduate School. 
I add my sincere congratulations and best wishes to all of the graduates whose accomplishments we are celebrating today. In particular, I want to recognize the tremendous achievements of our graduate students that completed their degrees this spring semester. Pursuing an advanced degree is a life-changing path. This journey is often difficult and stressful, but I hope you also found it to be a journey of self-discovery and growth personally, intellectually, and professionally. Please remember to celebrate that your journey was also important to the growth of the knowledge base, research, and scholarship that will benefit the human race in so many different ways. That's what graduate student scholarship is about, participating in the research that writes the textbooks for the next generation. This commencement is a celebration of the completion of an important phase of your life path. From where you stand now, there are so many different fulfilling paths that you can follow. That is an exciting, amazing vista, but also probably unsettling and uncertain. Don't forget to pause and savor this moment in your accomplishments. You made it. You're ready for that next step in your path. You've shown remarkable resilience, perseverance, and dedication. Earning a master's or doctoral degree isn't an easy time at any time, but you've been successful during some of the most challenging situations that a graduate student might ever encounter as you weathered the many personal and professional impacts of life in the time of COVID-19. I sincerely miss the opportunity to shake your hand, hand your diploma, and share your enthusiasm and joy as you celebrate this milestone. Many of my happiest memories as the graduate dean and as a faculty member are from the celebrations as part of commencement ceremonies. I want to emphasize again, congratulations, and please know that we, the WSU faculty, staff, administration, and your fellow students, we are proud of you. President Schultz, from the Graduate School, I am pleased and privileged to present to you the degree candidates for the Professional Science Masters, the Master's Candidates, and the degree candidates for the Doctor of Education and the Doctor of Philosophy. The College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences, presented by Dean Andre Dennis Wright. Congratulations, Connors Cougs. You made it. Earning a degree is a major milestone in normal times, but earning your degree during a global pandemic is historic. It's the kind of thing you will tell your grandchildren about. In other words, if you can graduate in times like these, you can do anything. Make no mistake, during unprecedented change and historic challenges, you have risen up in the face of all odds. You have bettered yourselves as citizens, students, and as learners and leaders. And as Connors graduates, you are now the torchbearers. You now have the chance to better the world and make it a safer, healthier place for your neighbors, communities, families, and for every generation that follows. So again, congratulations, class of 2021, and good luck. President Schultz, I take great pleasure in presenting to you the baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication, presented by Dean Bruce Pinkleton. Congratulations, Murrow College students. You have a lot to celebrate. When we talk about Edward R. Murrow, we often talk about his courage in the face of adversity. When you were faced with the adversity created by COVID, you found the will to persevere and to succeed. This resilience will serve you well for the rest of your lives. This has been a hard year for many of you, and I want you to know Murrow College faculty and staff are proud of you and of your accomplishments. You've proven that you can adapt to challenging circumstances and get the job done. Good luck and go Cougs. President Schultz, I take great pleasure in presenting to you the baccalaureate degree candidates from the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Regents and the statutes of the State of Washington, I hereby confer upon each of you who fulfill its requirements the degrees for which you have been recommended with all of the privileges and obligations. Mackenzie Barton, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication, Summa Cum Laude,
Sovani Chantha, Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Nicholas Dakota, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Abby Ababek Johannes Griffith, Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Cecilia Hoxing, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Magna Cum Laude. America Perla Ali P. A. Mom. I love you. You are my universe. I'm here because of you. Holly Johnson. Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Isabel Luke. Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Summa Cum Laude. Sarah Martinez. Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Jennifer Matthew Souza. Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Amy Murfell. Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Brittany Nugent, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Elda Ramirez, Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Cum Laude. Anna Rivera, Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Kashala Russell, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Anna Sorensen, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication, Summa Cum Laude. Evan Stott, Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Communication. Lucy Thompson, Bachelor of Arts in Strategic Communication, Cum Laude. Leanne Walters, Bachelor of Arts in Human Development, Cum Laude. Chelsea Ward, Bachelor of Arts in Human Development. Graduates of the class of 2021, you've earned your academic degree and are now officially part of the Cougar alumni family. Congratulations and go Cougs. It's only fitting we include this great song in our ceremony. One song that unites cougars around the world. Let's join Butch and the Cougar Marching Band in the Washington State University fight song. Go Cougs!
Congratulations again, class of 2021. Now go out and conquer the world, but don't forget that WSU will always welcome you back home. We hope to see you soon. This concludes our ceremony, go Cougs. Honor Guard and Mace Bearer, please lead the recessional.